what we are trying here is to see if we cannot bring about a transformation of the mind. Not accept things as they are, but to understand it, to go into it, to give your heart and your mind with everything that you have to find out, a way of living differently. That depends on you and not somebody else. To understand is to transform what is. Surfing is such a sacred thing to me. It's literally why I wake up in the morning. People don't always understand the obsession. But that's okay. Because it means more waves for me. It's always one wave that makes a session, but then there's maybe, you know, one wave that makes a swell and one wave that makes a year. The experience is incredibly visceral and you try and intellectualise it after, but you never can. I think it forces you to go more inward. There's no extra noise and I think that's what surfing does. It's a wholesome experience, being in the water with peak moments that really etch into your brain. And then you can observe these more overall moments that are so rich and intense that they're just, I can feel exactly what it felt like. That's when you have the best sessions. Times where I come out the barrel where I'm so electrified and excited, I feel like I've been struck by lightning and it's moving from the centre of my brain straight down through to my heart and my belly. It's like I'm on fire. And I've literally had points where I've come out of the barrel, like I'm just I'm screaming internally and I have to shut my eyes and put my hand over my face and just sink back into the water and just go, this is the reason for living. only makes sense once you know how good that feeling is and that's why you keep going back. Surf doesn't come easy where I grew up. You've really got to work for it and sometimes, actually a lot of the time, conditions don't always align. There are sessions that are just dismal and crushing. I mean you're standing on the beach, it's howling wind, the waves are shit, but because you saw a little two second moment of a wave ten minutes ago while you were getting changed, your hope is so high. You're like, no, if I go out, I'll get something like that. And you're just telling yourself that the whole time whilst you're being pounded and smashed and, and stabbed in the eyes by the wind and the waves. You're just hoping for that moment. And sometimes it doesn't come. It can be pretty disheartening and frustrating. Frustrating is a big one because you know you just, you're just pushing to get to that little moment. But sometimes it never comes. You paddle, you paddle, and you fucking paddle again. You can do it 10 times over in between waves. Sometimes even I don't understand the obsession. You are literally just battling the elements trying to get to that point of, yes, I got that good wave, that one or two second moment, and then you can forget all the shit because you got to that moment. There are sessions where you don't get that moment. Uh, it's, not, it's not always easy. But then other times, conditions do align and there's nobody around. For me, that's the payoff.
macro level, it's the session that's the payoff, like realised in the smile you can't help but have as you walk back up the beach and reflect on an epic sesh. But really, it's, it's smaller than that. It's the tiny moments on a good wave. And it's that right there, those little feelings that it insinuates, that's the addiction. That's the thing that I need more of. I want more of that as much as possible for the rest of my life. It's so beautiful to talk about and to try and document, but I'm also kind of glad it's a secret. If everyone knew how good surfing was, everyone would do it. <laughs>